And I got it all on camera. And you want to do surprise for me? Take it in your tail. You know Ryan, you say that. Hello, Auntie Gina. Hi, sweetheart, how are you? Mm. Don't know you're a monkey. And see how proud she is? Aww, <laughs> oh, and she wanted to give me a surprise, Rachel. This is your surprise, Rach. Take it back. <laughs> Okay, we have one more surprise, Rich. Rich, we got one more surprise. He's leaving tomorrow. He's only here for a day. Make the most of it. So you're gonna have to make the most of it. He's leaving tomorrow. Back to Iraq. <laughs> here, here. Well, for the past six months, Lieutenant Paul Carroll has been overseas, but he is home now. And we were there when his son got the big surprise. Yeah, we ran the story initially on Friday, but on Veterans Day, we wanted to run it again, partly because it is so special and partly because, well, we could just run one of these every day yeah, and, sure and watch could. it over and over again. Here's News Force Nigel Robertson with the surprise. Just look at him. Josh Carroll, an eighth grader at Lead Academy in Greenville, has no idea what is about to happen. His mother, however, does. Jamon Williams. You see, Josh thinks he is just at another end of the nine weeks awards program, but what he doesn't know is just outside the cafeteria. Yeah, we're going to try to pull it off. He thinks I'm coming home in about three weeks. Yep, his dad, Lieutenant Paul Carroll, is home from Afghanistan. Mom and the school staff planned the whole surprise. Today we also want to pay honor and tribute to another type of service. Now the moment is just seconds away. The final award is for service to your country. Josh and his mom are called up in front of the whole school. Now, just watch and listen to what happens next. Please make welcome back home, First Lieutenant. <laughs> Dad and son together again. Nigel Robertson, WIFF News 4, Greenville. Well, there's some, there's some raw emotion for you. I want us to talk after just, this. That is just fantastic. Mm. And apparently the surprises continued. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Friday night, First Lieutenant Carroll's two other sons also came home from the Citadel for the weekend. They also had no idea that their dad would be there waiting for them. There you go. Okay, that's a really good shot. That's really good. <laughs> Sounds right. Gosh. Um, this was awesome. Yep, yeah, it was. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's amazing. Wait till dad.
Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, my flight got in around 10. Oh, you should have called. No, she shouldn't have. That was worth it. <laughs> Yes. That was so worth it. <laughs> okay, we need to find a way to get that in because the back is pretty full. Okay. And I'm going to pause to stop the video now. Okay. These moments are special because a room full of Hazel Dell Elementary students honored our veterans. They may not have known some of them. But through this program, they learned the service they made for our country should be recognized. And everyone here today became a part of a touching moment between a mom and her daughter. At this time, we would like to welcome a very special guest. Who had no idea Petty Officer 2nd Class Laura Endicott was back from her five-month deployment aboard the USS Baton. Petty Officer 2nd Class Endicott has served eight and a half years in our military. She worked for the Air Force, the Marines, the Army, and now the Navy. It's so nice to see all the, the, the other veterans, the actual veterans here. Every single one of them sacrificed a lot for us. For this mom, being away from her daughter has been tough. Just talking to her and seeing her, <laughs> not on a daily basis, is hard. Emails and pictures got both of them through it. But holding each other today, showing their love, makes it so much better. New at 10 now, a hero's welcome. A Pinellas Park police officer who was also a Navy service member returned from his deployment in the Middle East tonight, got a warm greeting from his family and fellow officers. Josh Cassio is here now. Quite a remarkable guy we hear. Yeah, you talk about a hometown hero. You name it, Officer Christopher Gibbs does it. Patrol officer... Check. SWAT team. Check. 20 plus year naval career. Triple check. This guy has made a career out of helping others. Whether he's here or far, far away over there, Pinellas Park Police Officer Christopher Gibbs is dedicated to civil service. I just have this insatiable need to want to help people and serve my community. He returned home Wednesday after doing a year in the Middle East, helping to provide defense for U.S. ships at sea. Gibbs is a senior chief master at arms in the U.S. Navy, serving for two decades. This was his fifth deployment. I do miss work, but uh, I miss the time I spend with my wife. I miss hanging out with friends and family and uh, relaxing. Very excited to have a home, to be back, get back to our normal routine and normal jobs and normal lives. Normal for Officer Gibbs means continuing to do what he does best. That's help and serve others. He's been a patrol officer with Pinellas Park for four years. He has a role on the sometimes dangerous SWAT team as well. My military experience, uh, 20 years in, uh, it's, it carries over in the police department when I deal with people every day. We're very proud of Officer Gibbs. He's uh, served this country well, he's served our community well, and we're just thrilled we're getting him back. Gibbs says he's looking forward to dinner at home with his family most and plans to be back on patrol as soon as possible. It is not always easy, uh, but he does it very well, and we do it very well uh, as a married couple, and uh, I'm very, very proud of him and all of his accomplishments. Family, community, and country. It's just a at the office for this hometown hero. And the chief says he has several officers who are in the reserves. He says he doesn't worry too much when they're deployed because they're all well trained and they all have very good heads on their shoulders. He has the utmost confidence in all of them. Back to you, I Mark. bet he does. That is a leader right there yeah. and a hero. Josh, thanks very much. Pinellas Park Police welcomed home a military hero last night. Officers lined up along the walls of Tampa International Airport as Officer Christopher Gibbs returned from his year-long deployment in the Middle East. Officer Gibbs is the senior chief master at arms in the United States Navy, and he served for 21 years. He's been with the Pinellas Park Police Department since 2012. Welcome home. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go down first. All right, women. Psych. 
Sorry. Can you me No. No, I want to see this happen naturally. A chance that Sergeant Rabel Hill and his daughter Ryan Schuyler Hill almost didn't get. I honestly had come to terms that you weren't going to be here. I was like, okay, it's fine. Sergeant Hill was deployed six months ago and hasn't seen his family since then. We were able to put on leave until June 1st. I went to my commanders and said, hey, um, my daughter's brother, because then we can get this process a little faster. And we were able to get it done. He got back to South Carolina on Thursday and has been staying in a hotel to surprise his entire family at the graduation. Nervous? Scared? Why are you here? Why am I here? Like, how did you get here first off? Ryan Schuyler graduated from Lexington High School along with 400 other students at the Colonial Life Arena. While family and friends enjoyed the ceremony from the stands, Sergeant Hale hid behind the curtains, waiting for his daughter's name to be called. <laughs> These were some of their first moments together. A combination of tears and laughter had them both speechless. I'm so, so, so proud. It's, it's extremely excited that she's, she's taking that step. Ryan Schuyler signed up for the Army National Guard out of Charleston and leaves later this year. As for Sergeant Raven Hale, he has 14 days left to enjoy his family after the big surprise. Sonia Gutierrez, News 19, WLTX. See, I wanted to congratulate her. That's my show. Um, I just wanted to uh, congratulate you for being the DP for One Alpha Two. It's an honor. But did you have an, any uh, priors in your class? Yes. All right. That's that's something big to me. When you've got an NPS airman that takes that DG from a prior, that is an awesome opportunity. And I just wanted to congratulate you.
<laughs> a whole bunch of girls. <laughs> I gotta get a close up. Thank <laughs> you.